she is really fighting a heroic battle for her health and so far the vitals are stable but there is a raging infection so she is still in a very critical stage but I am sure the prayers of all the people across the country are helping her reaching her and helping her strengthen her resolve to continue the fight. There is a great sense of dignity in her parents. Very, very dignified people who are facing this with great equanimity. And uh, we pray that she'll pull through. Claws open. <laughs> दोनों बहुत सीनियर पॉलिटिशियन है चीफ मिनिस्टर दिल्ली आई कांट चीफ मिनिस्टर दिल्ली is a very senior politician and no 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 police commissioner no 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 her son sandeep dikshit ji and we don't know the i am not aware of the full facts of the case and i'm certain that no one is going to compromise on the case per se so whatever investigation and inquiry is on will reach its own conclusions till then it's best that we do not speculate in any way which will impact the peace. Do you think that Dilipa Ji has also said that Sandeep Dikshit has demanded that Dilipa Ji has also said 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 that Dilipa Ji I am sure the people on ground who are protesting are protesting for a cause that is completely different from the nature of this what she has said. So that their commitment to the cause will probably take its own own. I I can't advise anyone on that or judge anyone on this. I don't think so. I think you'll have to see it in a broader perspective. Every generation has had one agitation like this, in different forms, in different ways. Uh, it is the nature of the beast of democracy that um, such uh, mini revolutions do happen, and which uh, makes makes the transition in the, in the change and uh, impacts on opinion and policy making. So it's part of the system that happens this way and it's rather admirable seeing the young people and the kind of commitment and the zeal that they have shown i i in a very um, uh, in a way you have to really admire and respect and it's also their way of learning the limitations of a system and the change that needs to be made it's a very coexistential system that happens in any democracy that we see हाँ तो मर्जी के देखिए बेहतर हमें बहुत अफसोस है कि कांस्टेबल तोमर जी की मृत्यु हुई है इट इज विद द डीपेस्ट सेंस ऑफ रिग्रेट और हम आई ऑल्सो वॉन्ट टू प्लेस ऑन रिकॉर्ड माई एडमिरेशन फॉर तोमर जी हु वॉज वर्किंग ऑन हिज ड्यूटी एंड ही हैज अ रेपूटेशन ऑफ बींग अ वेरी फाइन मैन ऑन द ग्राउंड और उनके आप लोगों के द्वारा मैं उनको उनके परिवार और उनके बच्चों को वी एक्सटेंड आर हार्ट फेल्ट कंडोलेंस 
and the, the government has they made a commitment that they, whatever their needs are will be looked after or main sochti hu inki maut ki agar hum charcha karna cha rahe none of us are medical experts and there is no power on earth that can tell you that unki agar behosh ho gayi ya heart attack hui jo bhi speculation chal rahi hai ki maar peet ke wajah se nahi hoti hai kaun saboot samet keh sakte hain कि एक हार्ट अटैक नहीं हो सकती है जब आपको कोई धक्का मारे या एक्सीडेंट होती है तो आपको हार्ट अटैक नहीं होती है हार्ट अटैक के कारण बहुत सारे होते हैं प्लीज डोंट लेट अस मेक अ कंट्रोवर्सी ऑन दिस फाइन मैन डेथ उनकी परिवार के लिए बहुत तकलीफ होगी बेहतर हम इस पे दिल्ली पुलिस ने यह भी कहा है कि हमें वीडियो फुटेज चाहिए हम हम मीडिया के से वीडियो वीडियो फुटेज पूछे हैं जब तक इसकी जांच होगी प्लीज बेहतर हम इसको कंट्रीब्यूट ना करें प्लीज अगर उनकी पद छोड़ने से आई एम नॉट हेयर टू डिफेंड द दिल्ली पुलिस मगर मैं साफ साफ बताऊं इस माहौल में समय पर अगर एक कमिश्नर बदल जाएगा और समस्या हल हो जाएगी तो आसानी से कर सकते हैं बेहतर यह कि उनसे हम कार का काम करवाएं रिजल्ट निकलवाएं ट्रांसफर पोस्टिंग सस्पेंशन बाद में भी कर सकते हैं बट जब मामला इतना गर्म है इस टाइम पे किसी को बदलना दूसरा आदमी को लाना उनको समझ के चेन ऑफ कंट्रोल करना मुश्किल होता है तो आई डोंट सी वाई सस्पेंडिंग और मेकिंग सम लाइक दैट इज द आंसर वास्तव में द क्रिमिनल्स वे कॉट एंड रिकॉर्ड टाइम वास्तव में देर वॉज लॉट ऑफ रिस्ट्रेंट शोन बाय द पुलिस जब तक मूवमेंट स्पॉन्टेनियस और नेचुरल रही इट इज ओनली वेन द लंपन एलिमेंट हैव एंटर्ड दैट थिंग्स वेन टिस्टिंग एंड यहाँ बैठ के आप बोलने के लिए बहुत आसान होती है मगर एक भीड़ में एक झुंड में कौन जेंटलमैन है कौन नहीं है पहचानना बड़ा मुश्किल होता है I don't think I am competent to answer that question. The people who deal with these issues will take a, a stand on it if required. I think we should leave it to them instead of speculating in media. I can't hear as it is जुकाम से मेरे कान बंद है किसने कहा है प्लीज विपक्ष के कहने का आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू रियक्ट टू दैम बिकॉज मैं नहीं सोचती हूँ कि उनकी जो प्रवर्ता थी कि वो बहुत खास थी अब आपके मीडिया वालों का क्या तारीफ करूँ क्योंकि आप तो हर जगह से लीक पैदा करके ले आते हैं तो मुझे पता नहीं कसूर नहीं ठहरा तारीफ कर रही हूँ आप लोगों की a very stereotypical perception that you people anticipated and you wanted a stereotypical response from the government what you are not aware is that there was lot of work from day one that was being done without tv channels without that kind of visibility and groundwork was being done a reach was being done what you people are not assessing is that in fact you should appreciate that no one went and politicized it from day one had each one of us gone off there with mics and spoken then you would have said this is congress that has done this it was a wonderfully spontaneous movement that came in democracy witnesses such things periodically if you see the anti alcohol movement that happened in andhra pradesh in some years ago 
it, it's a people's movement and we are witness to democracy functioning and that is what needs to be observed by political observers and then there was an anticipated um, reflex that you wanted from the government the prime minister was handling his cabinet and discussing on various issues at the crown mrs sonia gandhi was addressing uh, summoned various people and said that this is what needs to be looked at laws were looked at re-looked at changes were made uh, everyone accused the lieutenant governor of being summoned which is not true he came on his own except for the geography of the distance it takes that long to get onto a flight and come back which he did come back and, put, um, and immediately things were put into place certain action was taken everything was done now everyone can't react the way you want us to react there are certain reason there's a certain responsibility and there is a certain gestation that takes place before visible changes happen visible uh, uh, articulations happen so i think what the need of the r is number one it's unfortunate that this young lady was the flashpoint i don't want her to pay with her life but it did bring about a, a huge awareness across the country which probably the last time an awareness like this came was when uh, the women in the panchayati uh, rajas were given their uh, sweeping reforms it's like that a positive change in some ways that the whole nation has woken up and said enough and no more it's wonderful because it helps policy making and it helps implement something like this so you have to step back from the picture so it's too close too in your face just now and see the benefits of some movement like this number 2 it helped facilitate bringing about quick response into laws that have been stagnating have been quibbling we haven't got public consent today by force you get the public consent so there are many things happening dreadful stuff and very good stuff and i think we need to look at that in that as a learning curve and bring this on board as soon as possible so whatever the little frizzles of uh, uh, and fractures that appear on the surface of this uh, i would i would not uh, be deterred by any of that it's part of uh, the nature of evolution of a process that brings about a tremendous change in a democracy like us sorry i can't hear both of you know the other what are you admiring and how how people are falling on the ground anybody it was no i'm sorry he cannot speak the way you wish him to speak he has spoken as a matter of fact he never accused the students of anything and the home minister has been on call 24/7 i know for a fact i personally have rang him up at 12:30 in the night i have rang him up at 2 in the morning i have rang him up on giving him various suggestions and taking suggestions from him and i i think please don't trivialize the issue about what he said uh, as a company he didn't i'm sorry i think that is just making something out of nothing i think you should see that the chief minister is completely different from the congress party but she sandeep is and herself a government head but sandeep is the spokesperson of the party that's all right sandeep dikshit in his capacity as member parliament has said something i don't think the two contexts can be intertwined if that was the party statement we'd say it from here he is entitled to saying but the chief ministers and governors and all when they take their oath of allegiance as office bearers of their particular posts will function as that i am not accepting or rejecting we are not competent authorities to accept or reject or deny anyone their democratic rights please can i hear them 
Yes, unfortunately, uh, he he did say something like that. But Mr. Botsa Satinarayana also categorically apologized in the very same press meet where he has categorically said that uh, uh, he had said something which is not appropriate. So I think we should let that rest. So, Renuka Ji, the Congress has no, point, no stand on the, on the demand made by Chief Minister and Sanjeev Dikshit? Yes, at this point we do not have a stand simply because there is an inquiry that is going on. We cannot prejudice, anticipate or uh, facilitate this in any way. Till the inquiry finishes, we can't talk about it. I'm sorry. Anything else? Thank you. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. Mani Chayir. ये तो चंद्रबाबु नायडू शायद रूलिंग करके बहुत दिन हो गए हैं ज्यादा समय बीत गए कि वो भूल जा रहे हैं कि जो रूलिंग करते हैं वो अपना अधिकार पहले पेश नहीं करते हैं सबका सुनके एक समन्वय बनाने की कोशिश करते हैं